Alright you guys, we're finally on the move again. Sierra's doing Good morning everybody, we got day two of this project going on. So we got some marine plywood and cut it to shape, drilled it into the rest of the wood uh, structure, and then we just kind of filled in all the cracks and screws and uh, seams around the edge. We're gonna grind it down, grind a little glass on the outside of this wood, and then we'll just throw a layer of glass on it. So this thing, four by eight sheet of marine ply, $80. It's absolutely insane. I got the rest of it right here. So if you guys want to help support the vlogs, you can click on the book that I've read in the past uh, that I've learned a lot from to help me do projects like this. It's called This Old Boat by Don Casey. He's got some great information there. Just click on the link below in the description. It'll bring you to Amazon. You don't even have to buy the book, but if you buy anything on Amazon, if you don't delete your cookies, then we will get a small commission from that. So maybe if someone buys a boat from Amazon, we'll pay for this sheet of plywood. Quick break. Look, we got this whole park to ourselves because they just built it. And it's not open yet. Look, we finally got some paint on. We glassed it, we prepped it, cleaned it up. Got some primer on and we got the first coat of paint on. We gotta do another coat anyway, so we'll probably go a little bit darker in the second coat. Uh, get some non-skid in the parts where I grinded all the non-skid off and coming along good so far. All right, day like 28, working on the boat. Just trying to get it ready for the Bahamas. I got a little secret for you guys. If you wanna do non-skid on your decks, you don't have to pay like 30 bucks for a jar of like this non-skid abrasive stuff from West Marine. And you don't have to buy special paint. You could just use your regular topside paint. And I've done this before. I did it on Tula and it worked awesome. And you just get really clean sand from the beach and just make sure it's clean and really dry. So me and Jetty just went to the beach. I got a little bit of sand in this cup here and just mix it in really good with the paint. And you can, uh, depending on how aggressive you want your non-skid to be, you can mix in more sand, less sand. Um, and then you just paint it on normally. And if you want it a little duller, sometimes it comes out really sharp, if you want it a little bit duller, you just add another coat of paint on top of that non-skid. We're about to do that today, right now. And the top side decks are finally all painted and done. A little piece of ash over there. A little piece of ash. And Sierra's inside, painting the inside. How you doing? Just dandy. That looks so good. Look at that view. Good job. Good job, Jenny. High five. Look how pretty she looks. Storm's coming. So it's 1.30 in the morning and we just finished unloading all our groceries, putting away all our supplies for our trip to the Bahamas. Still a little messy in here. We're exhausted. But we're heading south tomorrow and then hopefully 
As long as the forecast stays good, we're gonna cross on Sunday. Guys, we're finally on the move again. Sierra's doing a little workout in the background. Sydney came with us for the boat ride south. We're heading down to Boca um, just to get ready and be far south for our early morning crossing tomorrow. We're going to the Bahamas. Jenny, you're supposed to be driving. Sierra just caught a fish. Uh, uh, Anita. We're here, this is Lake Boca. Sydney already jumped in the water. Are you gonna jump in? Yeah, go for it. All right, it's 10 o'clock, going to bed now. Waking up at like 2 a.m. Start our crossing. Talk to you guys tomorrow.